Do you ever feel like your brain is a tangled mess of anxieties? It's a constant knot of what-ifs tightening around your chest. Yeah, us too. We all get caught in that web of worry, the one that sucks the joy out of life and leaves us feeling like a deflated balloon. But what if there was a way to snip that knot, to unravel those anxieties and finally breathe easy? Forget the fad diets and fleeting fixes. It's not a trendy self-help gimmick, it's a battle-tested guide, a warrior's handbook for conquering worry. Imagine this, picture a world just emerging from the ashes of war, a time of immense uncertainty. That's when Dale Carnegie, a legend in his own right, decided to crack the code on worry-free living. He dug deep, he gathered real-life stories and battle-tested wisdom, he used them to craft a treasure chest of strategies, they defeat pesky anxieties and help you find inner peace. The result? Millions of copies sold worldwide. How to Stop Worrying and Start Living isn't just a dusty old self-help book, it's your custom roadmap to a life free from anxiety. We're not talking about empty promises here. This is about mastering your mind. It's about taking control of your emotions. It's about becoming a warrior against unnecessary worry. Think about it, these strategies have transformed countless lives. If it worked for them, wouldn't you want to see how it could work for you too? So buckle up, in the next few minutes you could change your thinking. We will dive deep into how to stop worrying and start living and reveal some very effective hacks. Hack number one, live in daytight compartments, conquer today's worries. Ever feel like worries pile up until they overwhelm you? Dale Carnegie proposes a revolutionary concept, live in daytight compartments. This approach involves focusing only on the present day. It means managing today's tasks and concerns. You do this without letting worries about the past or future invade your mind. By thinking this way, you can greatly reduce anxiety. It will also improve your productivity and well-being. The metaphor of daytight compartments is like the watertight compartments on a ship. Just as these compartments keep water out, they help you isolate each day from the rest. They stop worries about yesterday or tomorrow from overwhelming you. Living in daytight compartments comes from the philosophy of mindfulness. It is about being aware of the present moment. It emphasizes that the past cannot be changed and the future is uncertain. The only time you have control over is the present moment. Focus on today. Do this by putting your energy on it. Then you can tackle challenges better and enjoy life more. Take Mary, for instance. She's a single mother juggling a demanding job and family duties. Instead of letting anxieties about tomorrow's challenges consume her, Mary learns to focus on today's tasks. By compartmentalizing her worries, she navigates each day with clarity and purpose. Action steps Mary took. 1. Morning rituals for focus. Mary started her day with a simple ritual to center herself. Each morning she spent a few minutes practicing mindfulness meditation. She focused on her breath and set her intentions for the day. This helped her start the day with a calm and focused mind. 2. Daily to-do list. Instead of a long list of tasks, Mary began making a daily to-do list. It only had the most important tasks for that day. She prioritized her tasks. She focused on what truly mattered and what she could do in a day. 3. Breaking down big projects. She broke larger projects into smaller ones. They could take weeks or months. She set daily goals. This let her make steady progress without feeling overwhelmed by the project's enormity. Oh. End of day reflection. Each evening Mary spent a few minutes reflecting on her day. She acknowledged her small accomplishments. She made note of what she could improve the next day. This practice helped her let go of any leftover worries before bed. It promoted a restful night's sleep. Takeaway. Living in daytight compartments isn't about ignoring the future. It's about managing today's worries well. Focus on the present. Take deliberate actions. Like Mary, you can regain control and find peace. Remember, manage today's worries before they morph into tomorrow's anxieties. Stay present focused to enhance productivity and reduce stress. Plan your day with purpose and celebrate daily victories. By using this approach, you can beat worry day by day. It will pave the way for a brighter, better future. Hack number two, how to banish worry from your mind, the power of action. Worry often stems from feeling powerless in the face of challenges, but Dale Carnegie reveals a potent antidote, take decisive action. He emphasizes the power of taking action as an effective antidote to worry. Worry often paralyzes us, creating a vicious cycle of inaction and increased anxiety. Take decisive steps. They can break this cycle. They turn your worries into useful energy and good outcomes. Taking action involves confronting your worries head-on and addressing them with practical solutions. This proactive approach shifts your focus from worrying to solving. It moves you from the abstract to the real. It empowers you to regain control over your life. It reduces the overwhelming helplessness that often comes with worry. Carnegie's philosophy is that inaction breeds doubt and fear. 
Action breeds confidence and courage. When you take action, you show yourself that you can improve your situation. This boost in confidence further reduces anxiety and encourages a proactive mindset. Consider John, an aspiring entrepreneur plagued by doubts about launching his business. Instead of succumbing to paralysis by analysis, John follows Carnegie's advice. Action steps John took. 1. Define the problem. John identified his fears and found the root causes of his worries. By confronting his concerns head-on, he gained clarity and a sense of control. 2. Create an action plan. With insights, John made a step-by-step -step plan to address each challenge. He set realistic goals. He sought advice from mentors. He outlined strategies to reduce risks. 3. Take courageous steps. John didn't wait for ideal conditions. Instead, he took risks and embraced learning. With each small victory, his confidence grew and worries faded into the background. Takeaway. Action is the antidote to worry by facing challenges proactively and taking decisive steps. You can turn fear into fuel, like John did. It powers growth and achievement. Remember. Identify worries and their underlying causes to regain control. Develop actionable plans to tackle challenges methodically. Embrace courage and perseverance to overcome obstacles. Through decisive action, you can banish worry from your mind and pave the way for success. Hack number three. How to cultivate a mental attitude that will bring you peace and happiness, the mindset shift. Your attitude shapes your reality. Dale Carnegie unveils the power of a positive mental attitude. It nurtures peace and happiness. Consider Helen Keller. She overcame the deep challenges of being deaf and blind. She is a great example of the power of a positive attitude. Despite her disabilities, Helen was optimistic. Her outlook and determination enabled her to achieve remarkable success. She was an author, lecturer, and advocate for people with disabilities. Action steps Helen Keller took. On embrace gratitude, Helen focused on what she could achieve rather than what she had lost. She practiced gratitude for her abilities. She was grateful for the support from her family and teachers. Positive self-talk. Helen replaced negative thoughts with affirmations of her capabilities. She believed in her potential and reminded herself of her strengths and accomplishments. 3. Seek inspiration. Helen surrounded herself with inspirational figures and literature. She drew motivation from others' stories. They had overcome hardship and achieved greatness. Takeaway. Helen Keller's journey exemplifies the transformative power of a positive mental attitude. She faced huge obstacles, but her optimism and determination enabled her to succeed. They also inspired millions by practicing gratitude, by questioning negative thoughts, by seeking inspiration, and by acting with optimism. You too can build a positive attitude. It will propel you toward your goals and improve your well-being. Remember, gratitude is key. Start each day by focusing on what you are thankful for. This will shift your mindset towards positivity. Challenge, negativity, replace negative thoughts with affirmations that reinforce your strengths and potential. Seek positive influences. Surround yourself with supportive and inspirational people and content. Hack number four, how to keep from worrying about criticism, harness your confidence. Criticism can undermine self-esteem and fuel worry. Dale Carnegie offers strategies. They shield your confidence from others' opinions. Consider James, an artist hesitant to showcase his work for fear of criticism. Inspired by Carnegie's insights, James takes bold steps to protect his creative spirit. Action steps James took. 1. Focus on purpose. James reconnects with his passion for art. He reaffirms his purpose beyond external praise. By prioritizing self-expression, he fortifies his confidence and resilience. 2. Seek constructive feedback. James does not fear criticism. He seeks feedback from trusted mentors and peers. He uses insights to refine his craft and grow professionally. 3. Build inner strength. James does this by celebrating his unique voice and artistic vision. He embraces authenticity and refuses to let external opinions dictate his creative journey. Takeaway. Confidence shields you from the impact of criticism. Focus on purpose. Seek feedback. Build inner strength like James did. Then you can preserve your self-worth and pursue your passions without shame. Remember, your self-worth isn't defined by others' opinions. Focus on purpose to reaffirm your intrinsic value. Seek constructive feedback to refine your skills and grow. Build inner strength to shield your confidence from criticism. With these actions, you can handle criticism. You will stay strong and keep thriving in your pursuits. Hack number five. How to find the kind of work in which you may be happy and successful. Pursue your passion. Are you stuck in a job that drains your energy and stifles your happiness? Dale Carnegie advocates for pursuing work that aligns with your passions and strengths. Real-life example, The Journey of Fred Rogers. Fred Rogers is known for his beloved television show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. 
He is an exemplary figure for living authentically. Rogers was gentle and kind. He was unwaveringly committed to children's education and emotional well-being. This made him a cherished figure in American culture. His authenticity was clear in every episode of his show. He talked about complex emotions simply and sincerely. Action steps Fred Rogers took. 1. Embrace your unique qualities. Fred Rogers embraced his gentle nature and soft-spoken manner. He knew that these traits were his strengths. He didn't try to fit the energetic and flashy styles of other TV personalities. To stay true to your values, Rogers stayed true to his core values, kindness, compassion and respect. He always showed these values in how he treated children. Fred Rogers was known for his real interactions. He was real both on and off the screen. He made a point to connect with his viewers. Takeaway. Fred Rogers' life and work exemplify the transformative power of authenticity. This created a lasting legacy that continues to inspire millions. His story teaches us that being real is a key to reducing worry. It is also a path to building connections and achieving fulfillment. Remember, self-reflection is key. Understand your true self through regular self-reflection. Embrace uniqueness. Celebrate what makes you unique and let it shine. Stay true to values. Let your core values guide your actions and decisions. Be genuine. Practice authentic communication in your interactions with others. Summary. All right, that's a wrap. We've delved into how to stop worrying and start living. We've explored its life-changing insights. We've learned to manage worries with daytight compartments. We use action to banish anxiety and a positive attitude for lasting peace and happiness. We've tackled specific worries such as fear of criticism. We've also explored practical techniques for beating anxiety in daily life. Remember, how to stop worrying and start living isn't just a book. It's your guide to getting peace of mind and unlocking your potential. Adopt Carnegie's timeless principles. They will free you from worry and let you embrace each day with new vigor. They will help you create a joyful and successful life. Keep learning, keep growing, and don't forget to subscribe to the Book Bites Club. It has more insights from life-changing reads. Until next time, may you find peace in the journey ahead.